Hey, 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 what's up? How you doing today? This camera kind of sucks for selfies, so let's go ahead and get in to show you how I sort of fix, sort of tuned up this little Rayovac headlight flashlight. Uh, this little rubber switch on top was getting kind of twitchy, not working sometimes, and I use it quite a bit for working on cars and uh, I want to ride my bicycle at night and stuff, so um, I didn't pick this guy thing. My sister or brother-in-law picked it out somewhere I think they are around twelve dollars or so I don't know but they've been around for a while I've had this one for a while it's the only one I've ever had the Rayovac and uh, uh, what was I going to say uh, I actually was wanting one of those other kind that's probably cheaper I think my sister or brother-in-law got some got two couple of them for dirt cheap that have they have I think high low but they also have like a red and green light on them, and which is really good for camping or some, anytime you got to get up in the middle of the night and you don't want to blind yourself and other people. But anyway, I'll get one at some point, I guess. So anyway, uh, these things are pretty simple and easy to fix, so don't be afraid to, to try it. If yours is broken or acting a little twitchy or whatever, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, so you're used to this. You pop the cap off and uh, the back cover cap off and mine's actually broken right there but it hasn't mattered it still stays on good um, so you're used to this for swapping out your batteries and I use rechargeable ones but there's three Phillips head screws right under there and you'll have to get some of these little bitty uh, uh, eyeglass Phillips head screwdrivers and I used I've got a small and a big that's all I've got they both seem to fit the, those little Phillips head screws pretty good. Um, I think I had to use some, uh, I used a little bit of penetrating oil, some PB blaster on one of the screws, but it, it wasn't too bad, really. But uh, once you get those three screws out, probably the hardest part is you just got to take your fingernails and pry on this end right here. Um, the side where the two screws go in, it seems to come loose easier. The little bit I've been tinkering with this. And then you've got this circuit board. Well, yeah, a little circuit board. And the switch sticks out right there. Let's see. It's pretty small. So, uh, the rubber part, I don't believe, was the, was the problem with the malfunction. That's fine. Um, I think it's in that that little switch right there so I just cleaned it with some of this electronic cleaner which you can probably get at Wally World you may have to get the CRC brand or whatever or Super Tech brand whatever they've got but I've had this stuff forever and that seemed to make it start working a little better and then uh, I also hit it with some of this zinc OxGuard stuff which is saturated in this toothbrush and just hit it, hit it with that right there. Tried to get it in. Hopefully, getting in, you know, getting down in there around wherever the contacts are on that little bitty micro switch. But uh, that stuff's also good for your, uh, for this side there where the batteries contacts are. Um, but also while you're in there, um, on mine. It just has this one little lens. This this kind of has three little tips or whatever you want to call them. If you want to get dirty, you can call them teats or tits or whatever. They, they fit in that, so you got to make sure that lines up. But all it has is this one little plastic lens, and mine had gotten some oil-based spray paint on it from where I was up in underneath the car spraying like. Uh, some high temperature exhaust spray paint or some undercoating whatever so I scratched it off as best I could I got most of it off while I had it apart I put some box tape over both sides of it so that'll be easier to clean up if, I, if that happens again and with my luck and all and all the stuff I get into it probably will happen again so uh, what else was I going to say I think that's about it just put it back together and 
Hopefully that'll work. Uh, help somebody out. Pretty simple. Don't be afraid to try it. Doesn't hurt to try it. Also, you can use some of this kind of uh, non-conductive uh, dielectric grease. This Permatex kind. Um, maybe, I'm not sure, this stuff probably kind of similar to Vaseline. Trolling Jelly, but... Uh, it's not it's not conductive like this stuff, but uh, it's good for. You can also put it around some of the parts where that might get sticky, like where the the cover goes on and all. But uh, I like I like this this stuff for inside contacts and switches and whatnot, and I like this this kind for out the outside of contacts or connections. But whatever uh, you find works for you. I keep a dedicated toothbrush for each type. Because uh, a lot of times a little goes a long way. You don't have to uh, even apply. A lot of times you just need a small amount. So sometimes all you got to do is grab a toothbrush and hit it for whatever the task is at hand. But anyway, I hope you find that helpful. I have no way to keep rocking with docking and. Uh, Go to church because the end is coming. <laughs>